All right, saga continues. So carb is off and I have taken it apart right there, clean it all out. Even took the screen out there because that goes all the way through to the inlet pin there. Uh, came out really easy, just used a pick and I, I got a method for putting it back in easy enough. But when you take it apart, you just line everything up as it comes off, nice and pretty. That way it goes back exactly the same. What I'll do is when I open the new kit right there, I'll just lay out the new pieces and replace these old ones. Okay, all the parts have been laid out and replaced with the new parts. That's my stack of old ones. They weren't too bad. A lot of them were, they mainly were just sticking together. The, like the gasket part and the solid pieces were really stuck together. But other than that, I mean, they're not that bad of shape. Uh, use ethanol free gas. Um, these are the extra parts. This little screen and this clip go in here and everybody says don't even mess with it because it's a lot of trouble and it is super clean. So I'm not real worried about it. But I did get the old screen and I'll put that in. Um, everything else is good to go. So I'll get it back together. Okay, I wanna show you real quick the pop-off pressure and how to check it. And what that is is a little needle valve in there uh, opens up at a certain pressure. It's the one on this seesaw piece with the spring underneath it. Just put a little WD-40 in there to seal that. Got my pressure gauge set up. And what I'm looking for is between 12 and 20. We're at about 12 now, 15, and there you go. It popped off, and what you want it to do is you want it to seal and hold. I'm gonna try it one more time here. Yeah, there you go. So you want it to seal and hold above 10. That's the both of those 16, 17, and holding above 10. That is perfect setting for that. All right, we've got her all pieced back together. Looking good. Looking good. It got the jets back in. Remember on that high, there is a O-ring and a washer underneath there, so. And like I said, yeah, broke my seal and going to hell, but warranty's long gone. And they both lined up. I took a picture of them before uh, I took them out and I seated them just to count how many turns there were. And I duplicated all that and it all came back to uh, what the what it says in the little manual. Now, rookie mistake through my whole doing all of this is I forgot to order two of these little gaskets. This is a spacer, but that green is a gasket. It peeled off the carb, so it's not gonna be reusable, but I'll get those. I got a phone call in to Sarge, see if he has one set, and we'll be good to go. Okay, this is um, the reed valves down inside there. So I'm gonna take this off and replace these gaskets because I did order those and new reed valve pedals I'll put on and we'll be good. Okay, reed valve has been removed, pedals, have been replaced and they did go on there a very specific way if you can tell like this side has a slit or this side this corner is cut this one's rounded this side has a hole in this in it this one does not but they both have this corner so when I took this off I marked put a black mark there on the top that goes facing the back or the front of the unit Either way, it's gonna go like this. And uh, so there are some specifics. These are different, top and bottom gasket. So glad I ordered those because this, these, they came off solid, probably the only gaskets in this whole thing that have, but they're pretty soaked. 
not as bad as others, but just glad I got new ones. All right, got it all reassembled. Um, just want to show you these old pedals. They seemed fine. I don't know. You can see they're kind of almost carbon fiber, but they were tough and they seem fine. But I don't know. They say you ought to replace it, so it was very. They're very cheap, so why not? I mean, if you're going to go this far into tearing it down, I mean, at least at 100 hours, anyways. All right. In case you're curious, what's inside here? All right, so this is underneath where the reed valve goes. As you can see, you can see the piston uh, arm in there and the crankshaft uh, where the piston spins around. So basically it's just what you could see from the other side under the jug, except it's from the carb side. Okay, as far as I can go tonight without the gaskets, they go right there. But, Got the reed valve all put back on, ready to go. All I need to do is get that carb finished up and uh, we are done. Put it all back together, go get the break in done, get back in the air.